Hi, Kim. <clears throat> Aren't you out with the girls, Kim? I thought it was today at 2.30. Thank you for the thumbs up. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome and thank you for the thumbs up. I'm relaxing, guys. And I'm here to work on my watch hours. So, <clears throat> don't watch the setting. You know your girl. Sometimes in this relaxing mode. Hi, Mr. Campbell. <laughs> I see that face. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I see that face. But please participate in the polls. Yes, I see three votes already. And I'm going to talk about weird foods today, guys. And this particular topic sparked my interest when my one of my dear friends here from YouTube sent me a link on IG with a video clip <clears throat> of <laughs> people in a particular country preparing a certain type of food item. <laughs> I didn't know it was a food item until I watched that video. I didn't know it was a food item. Oh my word. Come on over guys. Let's discuss what is weird food from what is not weird food. And also remember that we have to think about different cultures. And some of the things that might not, might not sound like it's palatable to us is very well received in other countries. So please don't be afraid to participate in today's poll. I have a question there. I'm not going to repeat it here on the live. You can read the poll and you may answer yes or no. People eat everything. <laughs> well, I saw a video with people eating that. And I saw how it was prepared, Kim. Yes, I have it in IG. I can share it with you over there. <laughs> Oh my word, I'm waiting for more people to join, guys. Please, as you join, remember to click the thumbs up. If you're not seeing them, just click on the three dots and it will show you how to do the thumbs up. Remember, you can also feel free to top up the big red heart and it's it's also a way to share me out. Um, cows are a delicacy in India. Certain parts of India does not eat cow at all. The Hindus for sure, they worship the cows. Cows can come into their houses. Cows can lie down on their bed. <laughs> and some parts they will eat it. There's even a... I'm going to get into that. Because there's a part in India that when I tell you what they consume, you're probably not going to believe it. You're going to have to go do your own research. And yes, it's going to sound disgusting, but I will share as soon as I have more people here on the live. Six people here. Thank you so much for joining today's live stream. We're here to talk about weird food today and different countries and their different cultures. Please participate in today's poll. It's not a, it's not a disrespectful question. No, it's not because people is eating that item. And I have a video, I cannot share it here on YouTube, but a video was shared to me on IG that shows me how they prepare that particular part of the cow. Four people here, I'm waiting on more people to join. <clears throat> but however, thanks guys, thanks for the early comers, and thanks for those that already gave me thumbs up. You know, <laughs> I'm eating patties today. Because I also I, I had a patty for breakfast this morning, and at lunchtime I felt like I wanted to eat another patty, and that's what I had. So the only thing that I've had today is two patties, one this morning, and one before I started the live. It's not all the time that I feel to eat patties. Mm -mm. Sometimes for months I don't eat a patty, and remember that living in Jamaica, patties is like one of the most favorable lunch okay. 
Nick Brown, I'm not sure what you're talking about. But welcome and thank you for coming. And please give the live a thumbs up. I don't know if I know you in person, but please explain. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Nick Brown. I hope that you are subscribed to the channel, though. And I hope that you are watching my videos. And I hope that you will participate in the poll today. I have no clue who you are. I don't know if you know me. Do you know me personally, Nick Brown? Do you know me? I hope that you'll participate in today's um, topic. We're here to talk about weird foods. And you can all share what you think is the weirdest food that you've ever eaten. Four people has participated in the poll already. I won't read the poll until I get 20 votes. You don't know me, so how can you love me? I don't understand that, Nick Brown. How can you don't know someone and you love them? <laughs> You're being funny here today, right? It's not possible to love someone that you don't know, dear. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> Yes. Sorry to burst your bubble. Are you subscribed to my channel? You can just say yes or no. You don't have to write the word subscribe. Are you subscribed to my channel, Nick Brown? I haven't seen you left a comment on any of my videos. Can you please watch my videos and leave some comments? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Normally my live. Thanks to everybody who is voting. I have some silent watchers here, I can tell. Because there was never a time that I saw. Yes, I saw six people here one time. And uh, <clears throat> I think it's only three people that has commented so far. So thanks to everyone who is voting. Maybe my voice is sounding a bit hoarse today. Or heavy or raspy. That's because I have been using my Ventolin inhaler because of the heat. I'm not breathing properly at times. And I am not supposed to have ice water. But because of how hot the time is, I'm still drinking ice water. Right now I have some beside me. I don't have got no bubbles to bust. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> I hear you. But I asked you a question and you haven't answered me. Are you subscribed to my channel? Yes or no? And if you want to support my channel, if you claim that you love me, you have to watch my videos and leave some support by giving thumbs up and some comments. That's how you support people that you claim you love here on YouTube. Maybe we'll get to meet one day in person. I don't know. I don't know where in the world you are, but I am in Jamaica, sir. What part of the world are you in? <laughs> Normally my life will pick up like after half an hour or so more people will start to come in. Yeah, so I'm just waiting patiently on my friends to come on over so that we can have a lively discussion so far so good my darling Kim is driving my nephew Anthony is in the background I'm sure that you guys have um, participated in the poll already Miss Gay is here too good afternoon host and everyone in the chat thank you so much for stopping in Miss Gay see you can listen to somebody else love them see you can listen to somebody else love them i don't know what you mean you are speaking in parables right now nick brown you can listen to somebody else love them you're still not answering my question i'm asking you a simple question but you're not answering miss gay i have a topic here today we're gonna be speaking about weird food today different cultures and certain types of foods that people eat and <clears throat> as i was saying earlier that uh, maybe it sounds weird to us uh, and it's to us uh, 
but it's what people is born into and it's like nothing to them certain foods that we eat in jamaica here is probably you know despicable to other people in the rest of the world hi tamika welcome hey julie and everyone i'm just i'm elevating my feet right now tamika but thank god i am i can say i'm okay i'm feeling all right thank you so much for asking please remember to give the thumbs up guys and i have a poll here today i will i will open the poll when i when i get 20 votes um i saw a video earlier and it triggered me to come and talk on this topic about weird foods and as soon as i have enough people here who is willing to talk you can tell me what you think is the most weird weird food that you have ever eaten but you enjoy it what is the weirdest food you think you have ever eaten guys eight people here we can get the ball rolling we can start talking and having a lively discussion i have a question here in the poll it's not a disrespectful question it's something that i see in a video people is eating this item now what kind of topic this weird food remember i am gonna cook on this channel and people might come and request that i cook certain things madison that i've never even heard of and maybe i'm gonna have to decline some of the requests but if, as long as it's something that i will consume I will certainly cook it. I know for a fact you saw the video where he made the sweet and sour one. <laughs> My God, it was sent to me in in um. Yeah, I started thirteen minutes ago, buddy. It was sent to me in IG, buddy. Somebody sent a video to me. I see people is voting. Ten votes already. Thank you so much, guys, for participating in today's poll. I'm going to try and have a poll every day that I come now. As you know, my channel progresses. I will try to improve on it and try new things. 11, 12 votes. Wow. Thank you guys for coming. Maybe I'm going to have to open the vote when I get 30 votes instead of 20. Hi, Andrea. Welcome. I went on lunch break the right time. Okay, Madison. So I asked the question earlier. What is the weirdest food? What do you think is the weirdest food that you've ever eaten? And did you like it? Did you like it? What was the weirdest food? I'm listening while I'm doing what I'm... No problem, Miss Gay. Thank you so much. I would try it though. Maddie says she would try it. I, I don't think I would try it, Maddie. I honestly don't think I would try it. The cocoa soup for me, and I love it. There you go, Miss Gay. I also like it. I enjoy that soup, and it's the opposite of what we are talking about here today. We call it cocoa, but it's the cow penis that we use here in Jamaica to make a very rich, delicious soup. If you see how they prepare the cocoa or the cow penis, Cut it up in small pieces, cook it until it's soft and jelly, and you 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 taste it in that soup. It's like you're having beef soup. It's very delicious. Yes, Miss Gay, I agree with you. I have had the cocoa soup, and I enjoy it myself. If people eating cow and hog tongue, why can't I try this? No one said you not to try it, Maddie. If you see somebody cooking it, and you go probably go to another country. But yes, I've never had the pig's tongue or goat tongue, but I have had cow tongue. Remember now I am Jamaican. I haven't cooked it, but I saw my friend cooking cow tongue one day with rice and peas. And it's one of the most delicious things that I, meat I have ever consumed. Because they cook it just the way that they would cook the beef, like in a brown stew method. And cow tongue is delicious for me. I don't know who is listening and maybe, um, you know, turning up their noses or whatever. But uh, cow tongue is delicious for me. Keep the votes coming, guys. I have 15 votes already. Thank you for participating in today's poll. So Miss Gay said she's had cow cod soup and she likes it. Who else? What else kind of weird food did you have that you liked? Don't be afraid to say it. 
it's our culture no matter what country you're from what do you eat in your country that uh, people might find weird you never tried kotong either i've had it what what have you had andrea say for example you're a vinci girl you're from saint vincent what do you think they eat there that people might find weird that you eat and you enjoy or know that you're in the united states mm -hmm. you can go into the meat meat market here and see kotong selling and the cow head of course they chop it up and they sell it by the pound mm -hmm. and cow head the meat from the cow head is also delicious in soup or if you cook it up and have it it's also delicious well i love beef to be honest i love beef last night i had cow foot yeah i cooked some stew last night with cow foot i've had cow skin in soup i've had it many ways i've had cow tripe and i like it i've had it in soup and i've had it curried and stewed down what else have had on the cow? We all love cow tail, which is the ox tail. I've had cow tail many, many times, and it's one of the most delicious part on the cow. So where else on the cow now you've never eaten that you think is disgusting? I've had cow liver. I've had the light or the lungs, and I've had the kidneys too. It sells in the supermarket, but I look at it and put it back. That's the cow tongue. Andrea, you're in the United States. Have you ever seen the cow vagina selling in the supermarket? One of my friends that used to travel on the work program tells me that he saw it in the supermarket before. Have you ever encountered it? Anyone here? Have you ever seen the cow vagina selling in the supermarket? Thank you for voting, guys. <coughs> 17 votes already. Good day, Mr. Barry. Welcome, Barrington English. I'm talking about weird foods here, Barry. What are the weirdest foods that you think you've ever eaten and you like it? Oh, you've never seen it. Good day to you too, Barry. It could probably be in the form of it doesn't necessarily have to be meat you know we're talking about food in general so what's the weirdest thing that you've ever eaten that you enjoyed it doesn't have to be meat I see people eating insects yeah people eating roaches people eating spiders people eating lizard People eating alligator and crocodile, crocodile, people eating turtle, people eating squid, octopus, conch, so many things in the sea, people eating sea cucumber, that is just like a sponge. So it doesn't necessarily have to be meat, not because I'm talking about the cow here, that particular part of the cow. <coughs> it's a video that I saw people preparing it and cooking it i saw the cleaning process i saw the seasoning process and i saw the cooking process and the eating process so i'm here we can talk why why are you guys so shy to talk about food <clears throat> i would expect that everyone here would say come and say well i have eaten so and so and i it tasted good or i enjoyed only miss gay came out so far and said she's had cocoa and she's she likes it and I agree with her that I like it too I cannot believe this we're not children here just trying to keep the chat active nothing is wrong with saying I'm here eating my volume is low because I don't want to turn off customers no, you're not supposed to. You should be using an earphone. So because you're eating, but you're not, you're not going to talk. You don't want to talk about eating anything weird. 
You've never had anything weird that you like, Maddie? I'm waiting on more people to come and join and participate in the poll. It's a dirty hazard. Oh, okay. I see. I hear you. Fancy car. I've watched documentaries where people eat rotting fish. They take the fish from the sea and they hang it up and they leave it to start rotting. And it was a type of shark. And that was when they start to eat it, when it starts to rot. Well, you're not supposed to use your phone, basically, or technically then. <laughs> Don't put yourself in any problem. Don't put yourself in any problem, Madison, if you're not supposed to be using the phone. Kim is driving. I'm not sure where Trisha is. Um, let me share out this live. I shared it to a few people. <coughs> shared it to a few people, so I'm just waiting. Maybe today is a lazy day for life, but hey, I'm trying. I'm going to mute for a second, guys. I'll be back.
Sorry about that. I'm back. All right, Kim. Do your thing. You're not going to have me here sitting bored. <laughs> All right, buddy. I have never seen anyone eat cow vagina before. But I guess there's people somewhere who will eat it. Yes, Miss Gay, I saw the video. And that's why I'm here talking about it today. I saw a video on how they clean it, how they season it, and how they cook it, and how they eat it. So it might sound strange to us, but indeed, people do eat it. So, welcome to the live. 20 people has voted. And, um... I think there's more people who will participate in the poll, so I'm not going to open the votes at 20 people. I'll just wait on some more people to come and vote. When I have an even number here, maybe before it gets to 30. Hi, Crystal. Welcome. Thank you for participating in the poll, guys. I'm here, Crystal, talking about what people call weird food. And I'm also trying to get people to interact by asking, um, what's the weirdest food you, what's the food that you think is weird that you've eaten and enjoy it? All right. So please feel free to participate. Um, remember that I don't think it's right to turn up our noses on food that people eat from different country because it's their culture. Hi, Mr. Zimi. Hi, Julian. Everyone in here. To your question no <laughs> please vote uh, vote miss dazimi <laughs> my child sent me a video of it uh, one part i eat uh, which part you eat miss dazimi is it steak you like steak thank you crystal yes uh, i really <laughs> i think i know what the poll is going to be like already you know i think i know where the majority is going to lie but uh, I'm still waiting. I'm curious to know how people is voting. <laughs> Miss Dozime says she only likes steak. Well, to be honest with you, Miss Dozime, I'm a Caribbean girl. And here in Jamaica, we eat nearly every part of the cow, but not that part. And if it's a male, we eat the male sex organ, which is the penis. We use it to make soup. And I can tell you, Miss um, Dozime and Crystal, it's my it's gonna sound weird to you, maybe because of your culture. But when they clean up the cow's penis and they cut it up in small pieces and cook it until it's very soft, it's very delicious in soup. Right, it's their culture, so we can't turn our nose up at all. Oh, yes. What's that? Biscuit, give me one. Yes, I agree with you, Miss Dozime. We're not supposed to. It's what they were born and used to. It's like nothing to them. Thanks. Mm hmm. To each their own. That's right, Miss um, Crystal. But on the same note, I'm asking you, Miss Dozime. I'm asking Crystal and Sandra is here now, guys. I'm asking you to tell me, what do you think is the weirdest food that you've ever eaten and you enjoyed? Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Good afternoon, sweetheart. Joyful Julie. Ah, oh. welcome, my darling. <laughs> Let me take that back. I exactly. Because I mentioned it earlier, Miss Dozime. You eat oxtail and you love it, right? And that is the part of the cow that if they don't move it out of the way when they're pooping, when they're doing their thing, it will catch their tail. <laughs> so if some countries people call, consider oxtail despicable, then we can't say anything about it. Trisha is not here today. I don't see Trisha here as yet. Sandra, hopefully she'll come in soon. 
We love oxtail and it comes from a cow. In Jamaica, we eat the cow skin. It makes good soup. They roast it, they scrape off all the hair, they cut it off, they cook it until it's soft. It has a jelly texture when it's cooked. And it makes delicious soup. The cow feet, it's also a jelly texture when you cook it. Cow feet and broad bean is one of the most delicious meals. And it also makes good soup. The cow intestines, we call it cow tripe. It's nice when it's cleaned properly, just like people eat um, pig's tripe. They call it chitlins or chitterlins. Well, I don't eat that because I cannot stand the smell of it. And to me, it tastes just like how it smells. So I don't eat pig intestines, but I eat um, cow, cow intestines and I like it. It can be curried. It can be stewed down. It can be used to cook soup. Mm hmm the organs of the cow the heart the liver the lungs the kidney it's also eaten too and they are very high in iron if your body is deficient of iron doctor will tell you to eat liver and some green leafy vegetables to bring up back your iron level so god knows what he's doing god provides foods for everyone and I guess he gives us choices. Yes. So Sandra is saying, pleasant good afternoon to each and every one of you on the live. Enough love and stay safe. Thank you so much, Sandra. Welcome, Bulk. Welcome, the incredible Bulk. How are you doing today? I think they are good, but they do smell bad. What, the chitlins? I know a lot of people down south eat a lot of chitterlings. They sell it by the buckets. And uh, you think they're good, and I don't think they're good. So as I say, we have choice. Because to me, they smell so awful. And uh, no matter how you clean it and prepare it, I think it tastes just the way it smells. Yes. I eat liver, chicken, and beef. I like some people think chitterlings is disgusting. Exactly. Exactly. I think of it that way, but yet I know a lot of people here in my country that also eats it. But a lot of people loves the flavor. I'm not going to say anything bad about those people. They have the tolerance for it. I just don't. Neither the smell nor the flavor. 25 people has voted. Keep the votes coming, guys. I want to open the poll. The votes are 30. But they also so good. You see that, Miss Dozime? <laughs> That's how I feel about the cow intestines. It's really good, but not uh, the pig ones. <laughs> I hear you. So, I don't know if anyone here has ever eaten any form of insects it would be good for you to come and share your experience because we're all here talking as one who here has ever eaten any form of lizards like iguanas or crocodile or alligator please come forward and talk about the flavor of it and if you like it or you don't like it also for insects people eating certain type of bugs and I hear that they are very rich in protein those wood worms and certain type of night crawlers I hear that they are very rich in protein even more than in meat so I don't know I think this is a very interesting topic weird foods how you feel about it but this one in particular now I saw the video they took pride in cleaning it and they said oh and we also shave <laughs> we also shave away any hairs <laughs> they didn't cut off any part of it I'm telling you absolutely no part of the cause for JJ they didn't cut off they washed it with lime juice and vinegar 
they scraped away any remaining hair they seasoned it they put it in the pot and they said they simmered it for two hours after they simmered it for two hours they slice it very thinly they slice it as thin as when you're slicing sushi and then they put some little toppings on it and they dip it in a sauce and they eat it Miss Dozime says frogs and alligator is good meat and Miss Dozime just thinking about eating frogs it gives me chills running through my veins it gives me chill my skin feels cold right away because it's something that if it if it jumps on me I would probably pass out I'm scared of it and therefore I cannot eat anything that I am scared of uh, miss does miss crystal says that she's ate frog legs before I have family member who ate frog legs and they tell me that it's nice too welcome back miss gay I didn't know that you left yes I have family members who ate frog legs and tell me that it's nice and I said you go away I don't want to taste it frogs are here jumping up and down in my yard when it rains but I don't think those are the type of frogs that people eat they have some that they call spring chicken or mountain chicken where their back legs are very long but I see when they preparing it I see when they're preparing it they open up the frog and they clean it out and they eat everything they cook the whole body who I eat called pum pum good day everyone and Jules I'm gonna share the video with you Trisha somebody shared it to me in IG and I just had to come today and talk about it so I tell you something about alligators Miss Dozime I see they have the farms in Florida and certain down south states that they rear them for eating purpose and I hear that one can be sold for like two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars a whole alligator I don't know how much they weigh I see they clean them up and they barbecue them put the whole alligator on the grill and when they're eating the meat it looks white and pretty but to be honest I won't eat those here in Jamaica it's taboo we only have crocodiles and they are on the endangered list no one is supposed to catch them and eat them but uh, people is eating crocodiles here in my country and I was passing somewhere one day and somebody that I know who cooks food and sell whispered in my ears and said that he has that on the menu I said like seriously he said yes but well, you know you cannot speak about it publicly he said would you like to taste it I know you don't you say you don't eat it and you don't want it but uh, I curried it and it's so delicious uh, and uh, he brought uh, like three little pieces like size like this uh, on a plate and when I looked at it uh, it's like I was looking at chicken breast it looked that way to me and I, I mustered up uh, and I took the fork uh, and to be honest with you guys uh, I tasted a little piece of the curry crocodile one time in my life and I swirled it around on my tongue and I didn't swallow it I spat it out they said it tastes like like chicken but I didn't pick up a chicken flavor it would be more in between chicken and fish like a combination of chicken and fish and I told him that I really don't see the need to be eating crocodiles we already have chicken eating and we already have fish chicken leave those cro leave those what do you call them are they amphibians alone let them be wild and it's problem if the government finds out about it i could not eat it so crystal says i ate frog legs before and miss dozime says alligator and frogs is good and uh, trisha is curious as to know i eat sushi and I always tell my, tell myself, Crystal, that I'm not going to eat sushi because I don't believe in eating raw meat. And sushi is raw fish. 
But I am hearing now that they have sushis that is that doesn't have raw fish. But if you're talking about the raw fish sushi, I'm not gonna eat it. Um, those supposed to be small ones. Miss Gay, even the big ones too. We had some fried. It's um a seafood place. We got to have them. They call the Gator Bites. And how did it taste, Miss Miss Dazime? How is Gator Bites tasting to you? I try new things, but the cover China sounds too exotic. <laughs> 29 people has voted guys one more vote and I will open the poll uh -uh. Good luck to those who will eat weird things Miss Gay, maybe the few things that you are eating here in Jamaica in some countries. It's weird to people too so mine Mind you I've tried snail in a restaurant and the smallest snail that I will try Trisha is conco I'm not gonna have any snails smaller than conco. And how was the snail tasting? I hear they call it escargo, and it's a French term. And I hear that it's very good. I see people plucking them out the shell with a small fork and eating them. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hello to all in the chat. Not doing singular greetings today. No problem, Lilinton. At least crocs live in water. But crocs here are vicious creatures. If they catch you off guard, they will eat you, Trisha. So imagine you swimming in a river now, crocodile infested or alligator infested, and they are hungry. What is going to happen to you? I don't want no animal who supposedly eat humans. No, I couldn't. I don't want it. <laughs> it tastes like sun. <laughs> I didn't know that sun had flavor. Or you mean the texture on your tongue tastes like sun? Hello, Miss Gay and Trisha says Lily. Crocodiles and alligator come for you. Snap, snap. Let me tell you, Lily. I need one more person to vote and I'll open the poll. I'm going to open this poll at 30. So I know that I have, I've had silent watchers here welcome and thank you so much for coming and voting how many thumbs up do i have guys i wish the thumbs up was as many as the poll number here which is 29 can you please let me know how many thumbs up i have here guys it seems like the rain is setting in now miss gay rain nearly fell all day yesterday and miss gay i don't know about your side Trisha, i learned something me too lily I learn here every day when I come. You see, 29 people voted, but only 13 gave thumbs up. So the silent watchers are voting. I don't have a problem with that anyway. <laughs> or some people might have came and forget to give the thumbs up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so for me, I'm going to say that... Uh, the weirdest thing that I think I've ever eaten and I like is uh, intestines, which is cow intestines. I think it's a weird food. I don't know why I think it's weird, but uh, I love it. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, same here. You realize it starts from Sunday. Yes, yeah, rain every day. So, Miss Gay, you know, is the crab season coming up now? My claws are snapping at you. They're hungry. Yeah, and all right. I see people that enjoy eating alligator. I see them eating the claws, Lily. Where they cut off the feet. I see them cooking down the feet with the claws on it. And they just take up one and bite away on the flesh. Thank you, Trisha. It's actually a set. Two cases, a fitted sheet, and a cover sheet. Thank you so much. Yes, I know the meat is white. And so, guys, the poll is 30 now, so I'm going to open the votes. 
I'm going to end the poll. And I'm going to tell you. You're going to see the results. Oh my lord. So 93% of the people here. Said no. They would never eat cow vagina. And only 6% said yes. So basically maybe around um, two people. Two people said that they would try. Or oh, 31 votes. Two people said that they would try cow vagina. I couldn't eat snake. I don't want to eat it either. And I see them in the states. Certain states they fry it. They french fry it guys. And they serve it up in restaurants too. There's a restaurant somewhere in America that sells food like that. Crocodiles, snakes and frogs. So for people who craves those things and has that kind of appetite. I wonder who is the two people that said yes. <laughs> I would like to know too. Maybe they're just passers by Trilly, uh, Trisha and Lily. Well, look at this combination that I just said. Trilly, Trisha and Lily. Oh my word, a new name is here. Trilly, Lily and Trisha. You are now joined together and your name is Trilly. That's what I said, you know. My claws coming for you all. <laughs> okay, Trilly. You both are wondering. I am wondering too. Who said yes? No, we are truly great. <laughs> I don't know how it just came off my tongue like that. Truly, it sounds good, right? <laughs> it sounds good. So if I'm, if you both of you are here, and instead of saying Lily and Trisha, all I can say is all I need to say is truly, and you know that I am both. I'm speaking to you both. All right. <laughs> so the poll has been. Um, my God, my hand is hurting so much. You see, I want to lift it up and I cannot move it so easily. And I took pain pills this morning. You know, this hand is serious. I'm all done with the girls' dental appointment. Ah, uh, Kim, I opened the poll at 31 votes. And 93% said no, they wouldn't eat that. And 6% said yes. So we are wondering who were those two people that said yes, that they would eat it. I was trying, I think, I'm thinking that it was just uh, people passing in the background. <laughs> I didn't know things could get any worse for me. Guess I was wrong. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Trisha is saying hi, Kim. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> exactly. I'm all done with the girls' dental appointment. How was it, Kim? I think it went well. Yes, yeah, so it went well, says Trisha. And Kim in Tan is here, Lily. You know what? <laughs> Till in Tan. Yes. Lily said that she wasn't going to sing out any greetings here today. But she was lying. She came and she said, hello to everyone in the chat and then she went on to say i'm not gonna sing do any single greetings here today but then she said hi to lily to trisha and somebody else i love my version better i don't want to pee my <laughs> you prefer tillington oh jesus <laughs> lily it just happened it was automatic Trilly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hi, Lily. Hello, Trisha. So, Kim, we were talking, and both Lily and Trisha said that uh, they were wondering who were the two people that said that they would try the cow vagina. And so, I don't know how it came off my tongue. I said Trilly because I was speaking to Lily and Trisha at the same time, and I just said Trilly. So, it's one name for both of them. I have to greet Kimington, Miss Gay and Trisha. Say hi to me first. I couldn't ignore their hi. I know you couldn't. So I was like, really now when Lily said that, she's gonna, not going to do any single greeting. Everyone, we are Tillington, not Trisha, not Trilly. Okay. A notification came in. Winsome just started her live. Let's chat. Yeah, so I, I got notification from Winsome. 
just now. But I don't get for everyone. Hi, my, my pretty girl, Kimoy. Welcome. Auntie's here doing her live. Thank you. Trisha and Miss Gay were to blame for that. <laughs> Hi, Kimoy. Yes, Kimoy, hello, says Lily. Yes. <laughs> Kimoy, please click on the three dots and give the thumbs up. So I want to move my hand and I can't move it. It is so painful. Oh, you see me here laughing? My hand is like, seriously. I don't know what to say. Well, anyhow, guys. <laughs> anyhow. Uh -huh. I'm going to start another poll. Give me a second to write, guys. I'm starting another poll. Yes, I'm starting another poll. And the poll has started. Um, Trisha, I must call you Tillington. No, but me can't take that name seriously. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's just all fun. What about Jilly? Oh. But that wouldn't say suggest anything about Trisha. But Julie and Lily makes Jilly. Yes, that would be me and you, um, Lily. <laughs> so the votes have started to come in. One person has voted already. Yes. The vote. I have a poll here, guys. Please participate while you're here in the chat. It doesn't hurt to say yes or no. I was blending Lily and you, Mumiju. Exactly. So that's what I say. Yes, I agree with that. I agree with that, Jilly. Uh -huh. That's a beautiful name, Jilly. <laughs> yes. So, aside from eating frogs, has anyone ever tried iguana? I hear that iguana makes a decent stew. I hear I see in um certain Caribbean countries like uh, Trinidad and uh, some places in North America. They um I think in France too, they eat iguanas a lot. Thank you, Crystal. They eat iguanas a lot. I hear that iguana stew. Is delicious I've seen them preparing the lizard before I see they put it on the table take the life from it skin it no they don't skin it they scrape it with hot water they cut it up and I'm talking about Trinidadians and they stew it and I could never eat that no I am thinking of different name combination that's okay. Thank you. Five people have already voted. Appreciate you guy. guys for participating. Every day I will be coming with polls. I think I like it. Um, it's okay if you want to say who you are that voted and what you say publicly. But if you don't want to say it publicly, I will just wait until I open the vote, the poll, and the see the majority I know my answer because I am not going to vote my answer is no I would not eat any form of insects my answer is no guys no matter what they say about it there's a man on the internet called the centipede man where he eats the, the centipedes I see some people frying them till they're crispy and I see I see a man eating them live live centipedes no sauce no nothing who remember this um reality show called fear factor has anyone watched fear factor 
you have to learn to do things to, to beat your fear and uh, and if you if you do certain things that they ask you to do then you beat your fear and at that time I think the gift the prize was uh, 20,000 United States dollars if you win the fear factor I used to love watch that game but I think that uh, they question people about their fears before they started and so if you're afraid of heights uh, they will give you challenges uh, that relates to heights uh, and if they know you don't like a particular insect uh, they will give you those insects to eat uh, and stuff like that uh, and so I watched the fear factor and there was this girl who was afraid of slugs I don't like slugs either and they tell her that she have to eat a certain amount of slugs and the girl was shaking she was literally crying she was scared to death having to eat those slugs and what I saw her did she took up the slugs and to get off some of the slime I saw she rubbed them on her hand all over her hand like lotion to remove some of the slime and then she literally put the live slug in her mouth and you have to swallow it and stick out your tongue to show the people that's judging if you eat it or not yes that show fear factor and then if she if she conquered all her fears she would have won the twenty thousand dollars no i am not going to participate in those shows mosquito i'm not going to participate in those shows because i refuse to beat my 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 my, my fears like that i won't Crystal said I voted. No, I am thinking of different combination. And Timmy. <laughs> For Kimmy and Trisha. Okay. I'm thinking about it, says Trisha. Okay. Tillington, I hope it's no. Because you are now representing the both of us. <laughs> oh, yes, Crystal. I used to watch The Fear Factor. And I loved it. Are you all having issues uploading youtube kim is asking if you are having issues uploading anything on youtube guys we just want to know if youtube is having any issues uh, after this live i'm gonna go to the kitchen and i think i'm gonna make a video yeah i'm gonna make a video shrimps fried crispy kinds uh, remind me of insects oh really which insect that would remind you of trisha when you bite those crunchy legs oh i don't have any issues but i did upload yesterday haven't done any upload today i uploaded a shorts on my other channel and it didn't give me any problem either kim yeah i uploaded a shorts on lifestyle and adventure hi wonga lady welcome please participate in the polls guy in the poll guys i would appreciate it Hi, Crystal. And Lily says Wonga Lady. And Wonga Lady has a channel, guys, but this is her ninja. Yes, Lils, that's true. Happiness and love always. The amazing MNG girl is here. I fell asleep on your live last night, the amazing MNG. But I can see you were having fun after didn't do any live for so long and came out. And you got all that great support. I was happy for you. Your friends remembered you. And you know what? You didn't do the, the vertical. You did the horizontal. So you didn't get any trolls like I would get trolls. But your real genuine friends came out. I won't blend Wanga and Lily. I don't know how that would sound. Thank you for the thumbs up. And Wanga lady is saying hi to Petra. Happiness and love to everyone in the chat. <laughs> Kim, I haven't tried today yet. I have an all the videos to upload. Okay, Trisha. I am um, smelling delicious food. Me hungry now. Your mommy is cooking. Thanks so much, dear. Um, hello, Petra says... M and G, Julia ever fry cockroach? Ah, and the sound. Ah, oh my dear, why would I want to fry a cockroach? Not in my pot. Mm -mm. 
You're right to be laughing, no, Trisha? <laughs> I know about the shrimps, but not cockroaches. Hi, amazing. The amazing. So everyone is saying hello to you. M and G, and you're also saying hello to everyone. Thanks so much for your supporting me on my live chat show. I really appreciate your support. Yes, the amazing M and G. I'm happy that you came here today so that I can say something to you. Though that pe that person who was spamming your live with all that emoji. Let me read again. Julia, ever crush? Oh, crush! I was like fry yes and the sound of it i am not purposely gonna step on a cockroach because i don't like the sound of it trisha <laughs> yes the amazing m and g you know i was supposed to text you from morning to tell you how you can um remove those comments how you can put people in or how you can hide people from your channel all you have to do is use your finger and hold on on their name and you will see the options you can read one will say remove comment one will say hide from channel one will say put in timeout and if you choose to put the person in timeout it shows you different times now if i am putting somebody in timeout i normally time them out for 24 hours which means i don't want them to come back in the live so you are having issues last night and one of your moderators was there to help you and when you hold on on somebody's name it also shows you how to add them as moderator whether a standard moderator or a managing moderator most times we add people as standard moderator so if you want me to help you and advise you you can text me on whatsapp okay thanks so much for supporting me you're welcome. You have my contact already. <laughs> yes, Trisha, I did read again. I don't like stepping on them. I don't want to hear the sound. Julie, me never say Frank. I realize, Trisha. Hi, Miss Donna. Miss Donna, don't overwork yourself, you know. You see the amount of land that you're till ready to plant? I can tell your garden is going to be beautiful. Uh, but don't overwork yourself, man, with all the pains that you're having and so. <laughs> Ameli. Ameli sounds good for amazing and pilly pops. <laughs> that sounds really good, Ameli. Hello, Lily's here pairing names, guys, because I mistakenly said Trilly for Trisha and Lily. So Lily is here pairing her name with everyone now. I'm not sure Miss Dazime is still here, but the ama um the amazing M and G is here greeting everyone. And Best Beans Lifestyle is here saying good morning, host and chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. The amazing M and G is saying good morning. Are you still sleeping, Best Bean? Are you home resting? It's after one. It's after one, my friend. <laughs> Jules, do you eat crab? Yes, I eat crab. <laughs> and a lot of people don't, especially the Seventh day Adventist people. They don't eat crab. I'm up, I will soon cook some crab in the backyard. Don't worry, the crab video is coming up. I'll be boiling crabs and I'll be currying crabs. Thanks so much for your interesting advice, sweetheart. I will call you. You're welcome. No problem. Um hi marlene the marlene saunders show hello julie welcome marlene happy to have you here today guys please participate in the poll um we're just talking about weird foods here today and marlene is saying hello to everyone and thumbs up done thank you so much best being says how is everyone doing today guys see trisha can for you lily you say you couldn't find a combination but trisha found one and it's one one gilly and it sounds good <laughs> hi best bean says marlin and hello kimoy trisha <laughs> crystal maybe in the background or maybe she left i'm not sure i came best says i wish if it was in my oh you wish you were in your bed now oh boy oh my 
What the time where you are, the amazing MNG. She's here in Jamaica with me. So it's after three now. In the afternoon. She's here in Jamaica. Yeah, crab is nice. I like crab. I have never had crabs. Really? Only lobster and shrimps. Wow. You see that? I think crabs are good. Yes. I don't want nothing weird to eat. <laughs> But, um, best bean lifestyle, you cooked, I saw you cook goat intestines. A lot of people would say that's weird. We've been talking about things like that coming down. And yes, you cook um, goat intestines. Don't you think a lot of people would find that weird? Joyful Zilly, yeah. <laughs> um, hello, DW. It's 4.15 p.m. So you're an hour ahead of us. We're at 3.15 p.m. Um, still here, says Crystal. Blessings, everyone. Thanks for the acknowledgement, says Best Beans. I'm home, so I can text you. All right, Kim. Hello, MNG, says Marlene. Bess, the first poll was called vagina. Did you see it, Bess? No, I don't think she saw it uh, because uh, <coughs> it was a video that was sent to me on IG where they were preparing and cooking and eating called vagina. And so I said, let me come today and talk about weird food. So that's why I asked, uh, would you eat the cow's vagina? And I had it in a poll. 93% said no, they wouldn't, but 6% said yes, they would have it. So, like, two people voted yes, they would eat the cow vagina. Now, I don't know if it's anyone here in the chat, or it was just somebody that was passing through and participated in the poll, because the poll vote was 31 people voted. And I still don't have 30 thumbs up here. So I know that it was people passing through. Crystal says that's awesome. Hi, Beth says Kim. And yes, it's 3.15 in Jamaica. Yes, go. you see? Look at Marlene's expression. Marlene says goat intestine. Yes, Marlene, I eat goat intestine. And I also eat cow intestine. And it's delicious to us. Because it's our culture. Every country has different cultures. And maybe if you were growing, growing up here in Jamaica, you probably would eat it as well as maybe you know. It's delicious, I can tell you. And goat intestine here when it's curried, because goat meat is so expensive here in Jamaica now. The goat intestines is very expensive too. And when you cook it, it's like a delicacy. Hello to newcomers. I promised I would single out people, but I'm struggling to do such says Lily and DW says hello MNG um, then Julie what is cow cod cow cod is the cow's penis the bull's penis not the cow's penis cow have vagina cows don't have penis so in Jamaica I spoke about it earlier we eat the cow's penis which is called cow cod and it's used to make a delicious soup and that is kind of um it's all it's taboo but yes it's really it's like an exotic meal in japan i see men eating it to give them libido yeah men says it gives them stamina the cow's intestine the cow's penis so in jamaica here we make a good coconut soup it's soft and jelly and delicious yeah so if people is eating the cow's penis the bull's penis, uh, I don't see why people can't eat the cow vagina, but I won't eat it anyhow. But I'm not going to talk down on it. Uh. He don't eat no... In oh, Kim says, you. She don't eat at no intestine. Goat is not weird for me. It's nice, laugh out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three fifteen here in Kansas State says Crystal. Also, we have the same time. We in the same time zone, Crystal. 
happiness and love to everyone in the chat i'm here at work guys uh always at work i better not give anyone ideas before people start calling me jilly get enough when we get called julie that's right <laughs> Maybe I am supposed to be a Julie. Ah, uh, host Kotong, um, Kotong, delicious meat here in the most is the most expensive in the deli shop. Like seriously, Kotong. I don't even know the price here in Jamaica. If it's the same price as buying the beef, but I know I've had it like a couple times. Best bean with rice and peas, and it's delicious serious meat this well it's like you mean in the deli it's expensive wow i heard about call card yes it's nice 19 thumbs up huh? thank you so much looks like the sick bug has entered the house my brother's cough oh boy my parents are jamaicans and i am not eating any of that <laughs> okay marlene Tripon bean is a Jamaican delicacy, but I've never ate it. I love it, Trisha. Whether the tripe is curried or it's just stewed on like that. I like I like co intestines. <laughs> I better be careful. No, I don't know when my cup oh um yes Lily be careful. Julie said Proudly we eat the bull's penis. Of course we do. And we um some people eat the text the text testicles too. Yeah, the bull seed. Some people eat it. So hey. Hey. Greetings, host and everyone. Hi T Blair Cooking. Welcome my lady. Then I'm gonna put it in soup mix with the cow. Give you a jewelry. You can't find it different from the cod. <laughs> of course, I would know that it's a different texture. I cannot even imagine the texture of the cow's vagina. I can't even imagine it. Best Bean says, Greetings, everyone. Oh, Crystal, is it in Missouri? Crystal is in Missouri. Well, she says Kansas, so I don't know. Um, thank you for the thumbs up, T. Blair. My previous English teacher was a Julie, and I don't have very many happy memories. But I'm sure you have happy memories with me, Lily. Please, we are not the same, okay? Kim, I'm in on the Kansas State, next to Missouri, okay? It's over 20 pounds. Ah! Over $20 per pound? Fuck out, Tom. Don't, I am not going to the market here to talk about that. Because if I go to the market and see it and want to buy it, they better not tell me about those price. That price. I would never mention that here. Oh my word. Oh, anyone eat chicken head? My friend told me her granny used to cook it. Yes, Trisha, when I was a child. My granny, she's an Indian lady, she cooked the chicken head, and I see people eating it on the internet too. Mm -hmm. And I remember as a child, I can still remember the texture in my mouth. The skull area, it's very soft. When you bite into it, it's not anything hard. It's soft and it's chewy. And I can remember that it was good. I've had chicken head before. Mm-hmm. Remember, when you're watching the Chinese people cooking, remember that they cook everything on the duck and the chicken, you know. The head, the neck, the feet, the insides, everything. He was supposed to do a pickup, but my dad's gone instead. I think it was to the best about infecting the vehicle. Oh, boy. <laughs> Marlene is looking so shocked. These emojis by Trisha and Chat and Julie. 
Only me can say that, okay? No one else can call me. And uh, Julie, Julie, you hear me? All right, Lily. Bye, Lils. Take care. Are you in Kansas or Missouri? Uh, Crystal is asking you, Kim. Lily, I was on the live stream yesterday when you suddenly ended it. Lily went live yesterday? I didn't know Lily went live yesterday. I, oh, I saw her postings. Oh, boy. See? I didn't get that notification. Crystal says, yes, I'm in Kansas. Hello, Maritza. My older cousin is called Julie. She used to look after us when we were kids. Okay, Trisha. <laughs> you know, it's short for my name, Juline. I watched a video last year with someone cooking chicken head. Yeah, it is, it is eaten. No, sir, no chicken head. But if you eat the toes, why not the head? Exactly. And I can tell you that I have had it as a child. And I remember it tasting good. Why did it go in live? I can't catch it. I know I can't. I didn't see it either. No, she, she said um, she saw a video where somebody was cooking it. She didn't say she eat it. 21 votes, guys. I'm going to open the poll. So the poll has ended. And the question was, would you eat any form of insect? And 66% said yes. And 33% said no. 66% said no. They would not eat any form of insect. And 33% said yes. They would. So this question here, more people said they would insect eat insect than the cow vagina. And I'm going to be honest with you, I would rather eat the cow vagina than insects. So I am the opposite. I would rather eat the cow vagina because at least it's, it's beef. Never tried chicken head. It's beef. But best you eating goat teeth. <laughs> what goat teeth? Wasn't it the intestines that she cooked? Thank you for being here, Wanga. I... Trisha, I don't eat goat teeth. <laughs> she cooked the intestines at the head. But goat head in Jamaica, goat head and foot is used to cook the manish water that we all enjoy so much. The goat head, the goat feet and the goat intestines. Where is Joseph there? Where is Jay Brown today to talk about manish water? Joseph is a soup god, you know. And when you also curry the goat head and the goat foot uh, with a little piece of the meat. In the Indian culture, guys, when we curry goat head and goat feet uh, and the goat intestines uh, cut up with a little piece of the meat and even the liver and so, and we curry that up and we cook some dal and we make some rotis and we cook some white rice, uh, and of course, we're going to cook it with the Indian spices. That is one of the most finger-licking food that anyone... I saw a post come in just now where Lily posted something. I don't know if it was earlier, but the notification was coming. That is one of the most delicious food. When you hear people talk about goat head and belly in Jamaica, it is a delicacy. Best you drink goat head soup. I heard they put everything in it. Well, when I'm cooking goat head soup, I don't put no teeth in it. I chop out, chop out that and throw it away. The whole jawbone area and all the bones. I only use the meat part of the head. I would love to be in Jamaica right now. Things I would do as soon as I arrive is visit my grandma, visit KFC, go to the river the beach and party then i'll repeat wow there's so many things about jamaica that is dear to love and enjoy i'm not eating goat teeth but i love manish <laughs> but goat teeth can't be eaten <laughs> I, 
I'm going to tell you that I was drinking manish water before, you know, and came up with a goat teeth on my spoon, you know, and I threw it away. And the teeth look rusty, do you see? Yeah, the goat teeth look rusty. So I don't know why they didn't clean chop out all the goat bones and the goat teeth and throw it away. <laughs> well, for those who didn't know, they, those things are culture shocks, you know? Culture shock. Somebody told me they found teeth in the Manish water. I personally found it, Kim. Um, Trisha, Manish water is delicious, Trisha says. Yeah, Kim is dreaming. Laugh out loud, says Bess. If you eat the cocoa, why not the female part as long as the stomach can take it? If I don't think mine would do well, um, I don't think mine would do well with it still. Yeah, I say the same to you, Blair. If we eat in the bull's um, organ, the sex organ, I guess when people eat the female, we shouldn't turn up our nose about it. You know, I've never seen that close up, Julie. I've seen the goat hung up with him teeth Ah, oh, and I can't look at the butchering stage at all, you know. I have to turn away. I cannot look at it. Mm-mm. And I like the smell of it in the fire when they are roasting it to prep for the soup. You hear that now? The amazing m and I just saw something came up from her. I cannot take too much of the smell, Trisha, but I don't mind it. Exactly, T-Bear, that's sexist. <laughs> Trisha, you know you're something else. <laughs> Lord help her. <laughs> I have some color, you know. Somebody gave me some color last night. And I stripped them and I washed them, but I didn't get to cut them up. After I end this live, I'm going to cut them up. The color of them soft when me I cut them. Oh my word. Hi, Isaac's family. Welcome. Thank you for coming, helping me out with my WH. Appreciate. You know, I'm on the grind, guys. So if you don't see me coming that much to your channels, it's because uh, I'm struggling to gain some watch hours. Uh, and so, it is what it is, you know. Hello, lovely Isaac fam, says t Blair cooking. Kalalo and fried dumpling, please. Uh, that sounds good, not your best. But actually, I have some um, Karali bitter melon. I want to cook it today with some salt fish and make a video i don't know how much i can do guys in one evening but i'll try i was thinking about um roti and uh, salt fish and color best being really yeah i was thinking about that but the 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 the, the bitter melon with the salt fish i will pair that with rice and i do have some stew left over from last night uh, some broad bean and some red pea stew with some cow foot and some chicken back was what I cooked last night yeah and the combination wicked because I cooked it down in coconut milk natural coconut me put in the blender and stewed on the red peas and the broad and the broad bean with the cow foot and the chicken back and when it's got when before it almost end I added some carrots some broccoli and a little piece of pumpkin that was real stew it was so delicious the roti can work too host yes i wish you all the best on your double h crystal says thank you crystal <clears throat> as long as you come here and you stick around it goes towards it it does help but you can also go into my videos and click on my playlist and run one of my playlists if you have the time it can be done on your television it can be done from a tablet it can be done from a phone but i normally advise people to do it when they're going to their bed when they're not gonna use their phone because when you're running someone's playlist you should not visit another channel at the same time it doesn't help hey stuart welcome hello julie julie welcome stuart okay julie my mother on water <laughs> Oh, Kimmy, Kimmy. <coughs> Hi, my sister. Watch Queen cooking. Good afternoon. How are you doing, dear? 
<laughs> I tell you, all these food is more watery and delicious. I couldn't bother manage to document that last night to make a video. Too many stages, you hear me? Too many stages with that stew that I did last night. <clears throat> You're okay, good to hear that. I'm just here relaxing. I have like another half an hour here on the live to make it two hours to go to help out my watch hours. Yeah, Kalalu and selfish and cabbage and fried dumplings so so good. I know Kim loved to add the cabbage with the Kalalu, but I'm not gonna add any cabbage to my Kalalu, Kim. I'm just gonna cook it like that <laughs> with the the salt fish. You need to do that for the camera one at a time. What the stew? If I'm gonna cook that stew, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it outside next time. Yeah, man. All sorts of beans can be mixed together when you're doing a stew. But to blend the coconut and use that and cook it down, tops it off. I'm telling you, the flavor was mad, bad. And you know, in Jamaica, when it's just food mad or bad, that means it tastes really good. When you can't document your videos, do snippets for a short video. Sometimes I totally forget, Kim. Great advice, but sometimes I totally forget. Sometimes I'm cooking and I have somebody live running, even though I'm not participating in the comment section or somebody's video running, you know? Because behind scenes, I support people. Um, I do support people too, whenever I am not live. Um when you um i i hear you kim i shall remember hi wendy wendy jane watson is here hello my wonderful sweet julie welcome my darling how are you today good idea kim i agree yes i totally agree mm -hmm. uh -huh. and stuart is greeting his darling as well which is wendy i have a couple here guys one of the most beautiful loving couple Stuart and Wendy and they are in Scotland that's great Kim I watch screen hello Stuart darling look at that and take pictures for your thumbnails yes um, this gentleman just arrived here with green hearts now after we don't talk about the manish water Joseph is arriving Joseph then say if the manish water cook and the goat teeth don't go in it, it don't taste good. Is it true, Joseph? <laughs> is it true that the goat teeth have to be in the manish water for it to taste good? And when you look at the goat teeth, they're rusty because goat don't brush teeth. <laughs> I shall try and remember, Kim. Happy best Thursday evening, joyful Julie. And thank you for the green hearts always. And happy best Thursday evening. To each and everyone, blessings to one and all. And Joseph, come when the two poles done. Oh boy, cause that sounds so good. Yeah, man, I would have wanted to see it. It was really good. So Joseph, everyone is greeting you, of course. Um, and watch Queen cooking. Joseph missed the pole. Joseph, would you eat cow vagina? Trisha is asking, because you came late and you missed the poll, would you eat cow vagina? We eat cow, cow penis, cow cod soup. Would you eat cow vagina? Kim and Trisha, <laughs> Miss Wendy, lovely evening. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks, best being. It's not that Miss Wendy, you know, Joseph. This is Wendy Jane Watson. Not the Miss Wendy that you are used to. Jamaican flag of hearts. Red, green, and gold. Thank you, but it's... When we speak of Jamaica, we always put up red, green, and gold hearts. But the Jamaican flag is yellow, um, black, and green. Yeah. Gold is the yellow. Hey, Joseph, says Crystal. Crystal is still here. Then, Lily, oh, you're back. Jillington is back. 
Oh boy. Lily, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Please remember to hit the thumbs up. It seems like I need to start another poll, you know. Mm-hmm. I think I need to start another poll. Hello, Dre Brown, says Wendy. Jamaica to the world. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, man, I think I need to start another poll because I have, uh, like, pretty close to half an hour here. So, let me start another poll. Um... I'm just curious, you know. So I started another poll. The question is there. Do you eat raw meat? There are a lot of meat here <clears throat> that people is eating raw these days. All they do is they dip it in sauces. And I see it taking over the internet. I see people eating a lot of raw shrimps and lobster. The Asian people. They will soak them in some form of marinade and they eat them raw. I see people eating sushi and I don't know what other meat. But eight votes already. This is my third poll. Pleasant evening, Joseph, says Kim. Where Joseph say I know? Yes, Julie, the goat teeth have to be in the soup. That make it nice. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, guys? Oh, my word. <laughs> That's why I know that Joseph should have been here, you know. Joseph, I woke up goat teeth in a, in a manish water already. What, me throw it away? I don't eat rusty. I would never put it in my mouth. <laughs> oh, my lord. <clears throat> so, Bess said she would eat raw fish. Julie, in terms of my... My last comment, although she was an okay teacher, there were some issues and behavior patterns, and although you're not her, it's this, the name association. Okay, Lily, I understand. I eat sushi, so everyone is declaring what they eat raw. It's still considered, it falls under the category, so your answer would be yes. You cannot say no if you eat raw fish. Your answer have to be yes. Um, Andrea Jacobs, I'm not sure she's still here. Hello, Watch Queen Cooking, says Stuart. Then Joseph. Uh, not answering about the cow parts as food. Joseph, you have a second part of the question to answer earlier, and that's the topic. Would you eat the cow's vagina? Because I have a video where they are preparing it, where they cook it and where they eat it. Welcome back, Andrea. Don't know if you were in the background all the time, but welcome back. So, Joseph, you have that part to answer. I love my steak cooked, said Stuart. Um, yes, I chose. Okay. So, fire to my meat too, Kim. So, my answer would be no. That's why I say I don't eat sushi. I don't. People is eating raw meat nowadays a lot. I don't know why. People is just... I don't know what to say. Sis, I like my meat. Well done. Overkill. <laughs> I don't leave just listening. Okay, Andrea, thank you. No raw meat says best. I have 11 votes already, guys. I will on, I will reveal the poll when it gets to 20 votes. And it will be my third poll for the day. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think, give me a minute, guys. I'm thinking about something here that I want to say to you.
all right the vagina is um on most blessed and most uh, let me see what's happening here which is why i have to create new memories uh, of certain things so i disassociate any negative feelings all right baby girl crystal said she voted kim says uh, the vagina is on the most blessed and the most precious meat to consume the vagina bring forth life let me read this again kim says the vagina is one of the most blessed and most precious meat to consume the vagina brings forth life and so the cow vagina produces the calves and Kim says uh, she thinks it's one of the most precious meat to eat. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, no, I'm not eating the cow pum pum, says Joseph. Trisha, you get your answer? <laughs> <coughs> okay, Trisha got her answer. No cooking. Um, yeah, I'm going to go cook um, later. Watch screen. I'm going to cook and make a video. <laughs> Here, Kim. <laughs> And Stuart says, steak for me is well done. The same goes for food items or comfort items. There are certain things that you will bring to me, whether food or comfort item. It will send me back to the memory I've associated with the... Ah, oh boy. And Danny Manger, Manger said, yes, for real. So I hope that you participated in the poll, Danny. <laughs> Well, that poll already passed where if you're talking about the vagina, the cow vagina. So you you eat the vagina, Danny, is that what you're saying? You're agreeing with Kim Nadi, Dan, Danny Menger. Welcome. I hope that you've subscribed to my channel and I hope that you will watch my cooking videos and enjoy them. And while you're here, please give the video a thumbs up. Kim says period. Danny is a green says yes indeed Danny has an option and it's his choice I wouldn't eat raw meat I hate touching the raw meat in the first place okay Lils <laughs> keep laughing at Joseph I love my chicken wings cooked properly says Stuart Danny stop shouting please and thank you Danny says yes Ah, 25. Why Danny shouting? Maybe because he doesn't know Lily that when you write in block capital, it shows that you're shouting. I think that's why he's doing it. Danny, don't use caps, please, says Lily. I think PMC would agree with me. He definitely will. Look at this cross he's calling me now. Somebody named Enfali Sise is calling me on Messenger. I had to block some today, you know. That's where they start calling me and now messenger. I don't know if you guys are hearing the ringing, but somebody's calling me and messenger. <laughs> Lily, people will eat it, of course. Some people is eating raw meat. <laughs> Kim, invite me to any live with such topic festive. Kim has children in her home, Lily, I'm Trisha, so a certain topics she has to avoid. I know people who eat the cow pum pum, but I don't eat it. For real, Joseph? Really? Where they get it to buy? They're in America? Huh? Is it there in America? What did Danny do while he got time out? Chicken wing is the best. Let's let's meet. Uh oh. Watch Queen Cooking says chicken wing is the best. Uh, Stuart, you and her would cook some good chicken wings together. Trisha, I believe Proud would do that. Yeah. Yep, he would agree. Kimmy, what would PMC agree with you about? Uh, the vagina that it's most sacred and it should be eaten please take the poll the votes to 20 so i can reveal it 
So I, I have a riddle here, guys. <clears throat> and I want you to listen carefully, okay? KMC told me what he likes. And he said Kim knows what he's talking about. Definitely, I know too. Bourbon barbecue sauce marinated. Then put in the barbecue to cook. Whoa, oh, that sounds real good. I have a question here, guys. You can stop commenting for a second and listen to me carefully. You have a cousin that love it, Julie. Is he Jamaican, Joseph? Oh my God. So he eats it here in Jamaica or over there. Anyway, listen to this, guys. There, um, no, listen to this. There are 20, let me rephrase. It slipped me already. Let me try and remember it. Mm -mm. I can't believe it's, I, I messed up. I still remember. I can't believe I messed up. I still remember. Okay, there are 10 cows and 28 chickens. How many didn't? There are 10 cows and 28 chickens. How many didn't? I need answers from everyone here. Yeah, it went blank for a while. There are 10 cows and 28 chickens how many didn't tam 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 tararam tam 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 baby charlotte and capri are doing very well working on potty training with capri it's been challenging yeah there are 10 cows and 28 chickens how many didn't that's so Andrea don't ask me what just listen carefully Kim don't ask me what there are 20 there are 10 cows since we're talking about cows here there are 10 cows and 28 chickens how many didn't that is the question let me pin it There it's pinned. So you guys can think about it. Um, so best being it's pinned. There are 10 cows and 28 chickens. How many didn't? <laughs> Someone type the answer so I can copy your answer. <laughs> there are 10 cows and 28 chickens. How many didn't? <laughs> 10 cows can't lay eggs. <laughs> That has nothing to do with the answer, Stuart. <coughs> Julie honestly lost me. Tum, tum, tum. Ta -da -dum, tum, tum. Tum. What? This is like Jeopardy, guys. Two different species. <laughs> wow. Julie, I really don't know what I have no idea. <laughs> when I heard it too, I heard it on TikTok. And it puzzled me, it puzzled me, it puzzled me, it puzzled me until I got the answer. Where's PMC when you need? 
Boy, I tell you, maybe even PNC couldn't get this one, you know, because it's not easy. I'm thinking, yeah, you have to think. <laughs> Ten clothes don't have feathers. Oh my God. There are 10 cows and 28 chickens. How many didn't? Zero says watch queen. And you are wrong. And you are wrong, Muddy. <laughs> there are zero. You are wrong. And Kim says none, and she is also wrong. <laughs> 18. <laughs> why do you think it's 18, Trisha? Please explain why you think it's 18. <laughs> because I know that you are totally guessing enough. 28 chickens don't have others. <laughs> Hmm. Good afternoon, Madison says, watch green cooking. Oh, my word. Listen again. The key to this question is listening. If you do not listen carefully, you will not get the answer. There are 10 cows. My brain foggy. I don't understand the riddle. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. To make it easier for you guys, I'm gonna change the number of calls. There are 30 calls and 28 chickens. How many didn't? I changed the number from 10 to 30. Okay? So. I don't see the pin question again. I cannot take it down. Where is the pin? The pin is lost somewhere. <laughs> there are 30 cows and 28 didn't. Why do you say two Kim? 28 chickens didn't. <laughs> well, that's what I said. <laughs> Did two didn't what? <laughs> Thirty cows and twenty-eight chickens. How many didn't? Didn't do what? Listen again carefully. There are thirty cows and twenty-eight didn't. Two didn't get eaten. Mm. <laughs> and that's still not the answer. We confused Kim. That's exactly how I was confused too. Until I got the answer. And I saw two different people did it on TikTok. Two different people did it on TikTok. So when you want me to reveal the answer guys. Let me know. There are 30 cows. And 28 chickens. 28 8 28 8 what 28 8 28 8 I can't I'm confused with that answer best beans <laughs> 10 cows didn't eat didn't eat what 28 8 8 what 28 8 what 28 chickens. Stuart got the answer. There are 30 cows and 28 chickens. A T E, not E I G H T. <laughs> Stuart got it. And I think that best means, you know, 
was the one who gave Stuart the idea. <coughs> Twenty of them ate chickens. You understand what I'm saying? Twenty eight chickens. So twenty cows eight chicken A T E. So you understand it, the answer now? Stuart, you got it right. Congratulations. Twenty eight A. I couldn't figure out what you were saying, Best Bean. You should have said that twenty eight chickens. But you did not say what they ate, what was you didn't say it out best. Twenty of them ate chickens was what Stuart said, and that's what you should have said to Best Bean. Do you do you play us? Yes, yes. Best gave me the idea too. Twenty eight chickens. Stuart wrote twenty of them ate chickens, but Trisha nor Best Bean didn't write twenty of them ate chickens. So I wasn't sure what you guys were saying. You said 28, write the word 8, and then the number 8. So I don't know. 20 cows niam 8 of them. And that's still not right, you know, Trisha? 20 cows no niam 8 of them. You are wrong. 20 cows eight chicken. <laughs> Are 20 of them eat chicken? 20 of the cow like to eat chicken then. Out of 30 of the cows, out of the 30 cows, 20 of them like to eat chicken. That is the answer. So Stuart got it right. <coughs> yes, best being. There is no way I could get that answer. <laughs> because I said 8 and you are looking at it as number. But listen again. There are 30 cows. 20 of them ate chickens. I didn't say 28 as in the number 8. I said 20 of them ate chickens. No, I said 28 chickens. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was a good one, you know. That was a good one. It was really mind-boggling for me. Um, but because the person kept re repeating it, uh, listen again. 28 chickens. 28 chickens. I said, 8, 8, e, e. That means 20 of them eat chicken. So why the word didn't? So why this word didn't? All right. How many of them didn't? How many of them didn't eat chicken? I don't know why. 20, 30 chickens and 28. How many didn't? That was the trick part of it, Trisha. That was the trick part of it. How many of them didn't what? How many of them didn't eat chicken? 30 plus minus 20 equal 10, says Trisha. But at the same time, it's 20 of them ate chickens. But when I was answering and saying 10, they kept on telling me that no, 10 wasn't the answer. That means they wanted to hear 20 of them ate chickens. I'm off work now, says Maddie. So 10 of them didn't eat the chicken, but 20 of them were eating the chicken. Yes. I was constantly asking, didn't what? Didn't what? And they keep on saying, listen. I was saying, asking the question myself, 20 of them didn't what? Yes, so 10 don't eat chicken. Yeah, but that was the answer that they were looking for. They wanted me to, to say that 20 of them ate chicken. The last part doesn't belong to the riddle. When they say how many didn't, right, Lily? Right? Or how many did not? Did not do what? They just want, I guess what they wanted to hear was 
how many of them did not do what? Yes, that is the quest, that is the riddle. How many of them did not do what? How many of them did not eat chicken? That's what they wanted to hear. I don't know. I got one for you, Julie. Okay, Stuart. It's going to be for us, all of us here. Go ahead. Stuart is coming with one. And after we answer to Stuart's riddle, then I'm going to end the live. Go on, Stuart. Yes, we're waiting. Let me reveal the poll. Let me end the poll. So, do you eat raw meat? And 87% said no, and 12% says yes. See? Things that you wouldn't do, somebody else is doing it. 39 cows are in a field. Which cow is closest to Saudi Arabia? Ha-ha! Woo-hoo! 39 cows are in a field. Which cow is closest to Saudi Arabia? We're asking a riddle here, Maddy. You missed the first riddle that I asked. But guys, Stuart is asking, 39 cows are in a field. Which cow is closest to Saudi Arabia? Really tired, so hopefully I'll be able to sleep after this. <coughs> okay, Lils. Um, best being is saying type V <laughs> oh my god is anyone thinking about the question oh my god i think best Bo got it moscow i think best Bean got it moscow is closest to saudi arabia and that's russia in russia i think best Bean got it stewart did Best Bean get the answer? He says nope. He says no. LOL, I'm lost. My mad. St um, Stuart says nope, that's not the answer. Tum, tum, tum. Ta da dum. Tum, tum. Tum, ta dum, tum. This sounds like a Google Ridley, you know. I wonder if this riddle is on Google. Bye, Mads. Brown cola for Lord. <laughs> 39 cows in a field. Which one is closest to Saudi Arabia? Stuart says, Kuwait. Ah! Kuwait, guys. Kuwait sounds like cow. Kuwait, Kuwait is closest to Saudi Arabia. You got it, guys? I get it. Kuwait. Kuwait is closest to Saudi Arabia. That was a good one, Stuart. I got it. Watch Queen cooking. He says Kuwait is closest to Saudi Arabia. And I got it. <laughs> yes, I got it. That was a good riddle. Oh, my word. Yes, that was a good one. Wow, Kuwait. Yes, Kim. But notice he said C O. Take care, Madison Bye says watch green cooking. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> yeah. Moscow sounds better. Yeah, but in the, Moscow is not closest to Saudi Arabia. Kuwait is. That's a good one, Stuart. Definitely. You're welcome, Stuart. 
you see best being moscow is like in russia but kuwait kuwait is right like very close to saudi arabia yeah so any day i'm on the live guys and we're just here chit chatting and any one of you feels like you have a good riddle and you want to come and burst our brains you can come with it that's an open invitation um it's getting dark outside maybe we're gonna get some night rain Kuwait and Bahrain <coughs> is very close to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I know. Well, I did say I was going to end in two hours. Kuwait is far from cow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's the first part. Instead of K, you use a C. Kuwait. Kuwait. That's what I mean, be meant best. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I, It's okay for me. Kim, my sister, was based there. Oh, best being says her sister was based in Kuwait. I think Kim has been there quite a few times. Kim went was in Kuwait quite a few times too. From A to B, how do you get to C? <laughs> Stuart don't want me to end this live. Stuart says from A to B, how do you get to C? Both places, Kim. Okay, I'm incorrect. It's neighbors to Saudi. Yes, Kuwait and Bahrain. It's been raining here today. Okay, Crystal. By boat. Ah, from A to B, how do you get to C? By boat. <laughs> B O T H A B C. I guess I don't know. <laughs> oh my God! Awesome, Miss. Says Kim. Guys, I said I was gonna end in two hours, and it's now two hours and five minutes since i have been here by boat boat i get that yeah yes trisha i get that so guys are you gonna say bye 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 and today is what wednesday c equals c oh this is how it's this is how it is trisha from A to B, how do you get to C? The letter C is S-E-A. So you will take a boat to get to C, which is B-O-A-T. Ah. Now this is it. This is a good riddle. From A to B and you want to get to C, you will have to take boat. B-O-A-T. <laughs> Bye, Jules. Today is Thursday. Yes, and so tomorrow I'll be, um, oh, let me tell you guys, uh, tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock, uh, we are going to try and go live together. Me and Trisha, Petra Trisha, I'm going to try to set up uh, um, a go live together here on WhatsApp, uh, I mean on YouTube. So we're going to do the horizontal, guys, not the vertical. I'm going to do horizontal live tomorrow. And I'm going to do a go live together with Petra Trisha. So I'm going to start the live and I'm going to send her the link. And then she will be able to click on the link and join me. And we'll do a collaboration side by side. So guys, please come and check out our live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Jamaica time. I think it's Eastern Standard Time. Where Petra Trisha and I will be doing alive together i'm gonna announce it in my community on my community wall and trisha you can do the same <clears throat> at 2 p.m eastern standard time it don't work on collabs yes that's what i read 
it cannot work um it cannot work on the vertical so i will go into advanced settings Stuart, uh, and that is how i did my research already Stuart. i have to go into advanced setting and set it on horizontal before i can go live together on youtube is no not Streamyard. youtube has a thing called go live together where two of you can do a live together but it will have to be on the horizontal so i will go into my advanced setting and change to horizontal so that we can go live together it cannot be on the, the vertical the new vertical okay so i did my research um Stuart, because uh, um, Trisha and I has been talking about this from the other day. So if you check us out tomorrow, Stuart, you will see how it works, okay? Advanced setting is where the trick is. That's where you have to go and set the horizontal in order to go live with somebody. As I said, I was doing my research. So 2 p.m. will be 8 p.m. UK time, says Lily. All right, guys. So hope to see you guys on the vert on the... The, the go live together with me and Trisha tomorrow. All right. Peace out, people. And see you all tomorrow. Bye.